Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through some of the problems on the 17D assignment. First one we're going to take a look at here is number one. Weather stations measure the temperature in a city at three locations, A, B, and C shown. Their measurements at three o'clock are shown as such. Use the nearest neighbor interpolation to estimate the 3 p.m. temperature at one zero. So one zero is right here. So this, the site that's closest to this would be site C. So we would take it the 27.3 degrees Celsius should be the, um, the estimate for that, for the nearest neighbor. Okay, uh, for 5, negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 2, the nearest neighbor is A. So we would say that that is at... 28.4 degrees Celsius on that one. Okay? Okay. Um, let's take a look at the next one, number three. On a snowy day, the snowfall was measured in four locations across the city, A, B, C, and D. Estimate the snowball, snowfall received at negative one, negative four. So negative one, negative four is here. So that's going to be closest to D, which is 9.3. Um, inches. That's a lot of snow. Anyway, um, 2, 1. 1, 2, and 1 is going to be closest to B. So that's going to be, it really should be about 9.3, about 5.5. And then we've got 1, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now this one happens to be right on um, one of the lines that the line that separates D to C so since it's on this edge we're gonna take the average of D and C so D is for three here we're gonna take the average of D and C so we're gonna go 9.3 plus 12.2 and divide that by 2 so that's gonna be what um, 21.5 divided by 2 is going to give us what 10 point half that's half of 20 is 10 half of 1.5 is 75.75 so 10.75 would be the estimate for that one okay okay part B says a further report indicated that 10.6 inches of snow fell at E which is at negative 1 negative 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is now site E, okay? Redraw the Voronoi, Voronoi diagram with location E added. So it looks like it's really only going to affect C and D, right? Because it looks like it's going to intersect. Well, let's heck, heck with a look. Let's just go through and actually figure it out. So from E to C, it's kind of nice as a like a horizontal line straight across. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Half of six would be three, so one, two, three. Since this is a f um, perfectly flat line, we're gonna get a perfectly vertical line here. So to draw that one, we will just simply draw all the way up to there to where it intersects a current edge. Leave it at that. <clears throat> From D to E, we go down one, two, three, four, over two. So half of down four over two is down two over one. So there's our middle. And since it's down 2 over 1, our perpendicular will be, flip it and switch it, up 1 over 2. So from there, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, just happens to meet right there at that vertex, which is what we were hoping, because that's what it should be doing. And we end up with that. Okay. And really, since it hits right here, it shouldn't affect either B or A just affects C and D. So then we're going to want to end up erasing this current line that's right in here, right? So we get rid of that. And here's our new Voronoi diagram. Okay, so we've done that. Redraw the Voronoi diagram with E added. Does this change any of your estimates in A? Well, let's see. So 
negative 1, negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes, it does now. Part I should be closer to E, which we just figured out is 10.6. So we now we have E is at 10.6. So this snowfall here should be closer to 10.6. Um, 2 and 1 is not affected. 1 and negative 4 was right here, so that one should be also E, so we wouldn't have to do this estimate. It would now be, so part III I, I would now be about 10.6 as well. Okay? Okay. Okay, so that's uh, all we have for the 17D worked problems. If you have any further questions on any of these, please feel free to ask in class. Thanks.